Revelations by a top US Treasury official have become a hot topic in Russian and English language media. I'm not in a position to give you figures, but what I can say is that he supposedly draws a state salary of something like $110,000 a year. That is not an accurate statement of the man's wealth. Uh, and he has long time uh, training and practices in terms of how to mask his actual wealth. Is Vladimir Putin corrupt? In our view, yes. How long has the United States uh, known that Vladimir Putin was, in your words, a, a corrupt figure? I think for many, many years. We've seen him enriching his friends, his close allies, and marginalizing those who he doesn't view as friends, uh, using state assets, whether that's Russia's energy wealth, whether it's other uh, state contracts. He directs those to whom uh, he believes will serve him and excludes those who don't. What exactly do you mean by investments? Uh, we believe that it's a place where he's stored money. And how, how much money would you say? I can't give you an estimate on that. Has Gennady Timchenko been holding wealth for Vladimir Putin, do you think? It's, uh, I don't know if I would put it exactly that way in terms of holding his wealth. I can say that he has been tremendously enriched personally by Vladimir Putin, as have another handful of people in Putin's inner circle. Uh, and of course, there are allegations, suspicions that he holds tremendous amounts of Putin's wealth. Putin's spokesman responded on January 26th, accusing the BBC of producing a hatchet job documentary and suspin slander. The material contained in the BBC documentary is completely made up. Dmitry Peskov was quoted by the state-run TASS news agency as saying. He went on to say, as for what Subin said, that was an official accusation. If the US Treasury does not back up the charge with proof, its reputation will suffer.